to the Victor Chandler handicap chase. Now this is a 0 to 160 handicap of a two miles and five furlongs. Vinodome is at the top for Darren Thompson. Stitch in time, Graham Clutterbuck. New Year's Day, Martin Little. Need a tonic, Craig Beckwith. Black Best, Graham Clutterbuck. Presque Flay, David Robertson. Roller Six, Craig Beckwith. Madame May Lynn, Padre Hogan. Uh, John Morgan's got the bottom two. Strong Arrow and Decent Words. Away and racing. Strong Arrow. It's gone straight out into the lead. Leads by about three to New Year's Day in second. They've got 16 fences to take in this one. This race that's rather confusingly got the same title as the race before it. Except for this one, it's got the word handicap slotted in there. This is the Victor Chandler handicap chase. All over the first. Oh, they're not. Presque Flay has gone. So, not like they were all over the first, but Presque Flay has departed at the first for David Robertson. Rest of them all over the first three with Strong Arrow clearing the lead by a good five or six lengths. It's a very short run to the fourth as well. New Year's Day was a bit slow at that one. And Madam May Lynn is finding the pace a bit hot at the moment. And Strong Arrow is sitting a pretty strong pace. And leads by a good five lengths or so to Venodome in second. He's got a three length lead on the Graham Clutterbuck pair, Black Bess and Stitch in time, then Roller 6. And New Year's Day is next as they take this fifth. Oh, the mistake there was by Black Bess. Madame Maylin has made up that ground and is now back in touch with everybody else. As they come to take the fence, it'll be the last on the next circuit. And again, Black Bess down on her nose. They've been relegated to last. They come past the post and it's strong arrow in the lead for John Morgan with Venodome five lengths down in second. And a gap of four to Roller Six in third, then New Year's Day and a Stitch in Time. We need a tonic and decent words. And then the back to Madame Maylin. And finally, the error prone Black Bess. A strong arrow. John Morgan front runner, four lengths to the good. Oh, Venadome and Roller six. They take the seventh. Oh, the leader went right through that. And they subsequently had its lead, lead halved. Strong Arrow continues to lead though from Venadome in second as they take the next. Jumped a little bit better that time. Roller six is going well in third. Decent words, the stable companion to the leader is creeping closer on the outside. So take this ditch. Oh, there's one down there, it's Need a Tonic. Need a Tonic's gone. Need a Tonic might well need a gin in that tonic after that. They get to the tenth. And they're all safely over that one, although Madame May Lin was a little bit untidy at the back and he's about six lengths adrift of the rest of them now, but Strong Arrow is still the leader. Roller six, that was cruised through to second. Venodome is third, then stitching time, decent words and New Year's Day. And his Black Bess just tucked in behind them. And a gap of six lengths to the back marker, Madame May Lin. Strong arrow. Been in the lead all the way. Takes the 11th. A really good jump there. was a fall of there. Venodome's gone. So Venodome's gone and Roller 6 has jumped into the lead. So Roller 6 has gone on then now from Strong Arrow in second. Then Decent Words is now starting a forward move. Then comes New Year's Day. Oh no, he's gone this time. Roller 6, who was going really well, has fallen. And we're getting loads of fallers in this as they take the third for a moment. It's the John Morgan pair one and two. It's Strong Arrow and Decent Words from Stitching Time in third. New Year's Day is back in fourth. Then comes Black Bess and Madame May Lin. And it's Strong Arrow and Decent Words and the relative newcomers are doing really well today. Oh, that's something that needs looking at maybe. It's Strong Arrow in the lead. Decent Words is in second. Stitching Time is in third. Then comes New Year's Day and Black Bess. Oh, he's gone. The long time leader's gone. Strong Arrow and it's left Decent Words well clear as they come down towards the final fence and absolutely catastrophic race jumping wise and Decent words, looking like he's only got to jump this. 
to win it. Which he does. New Year's Day is over it in second. And Black Bass is third. Stitching time is in fourth. But Decent Words is going to win a race where more than half the field have fallen. And Decent Words off bottom weight is going to take it. And I really think these these horses are coming at the window. have got too much of an advantage, really, because and you get getting handicapped on one run and then coming and taking these mid-season handicaps is a little bit whatever, I don't know what you could do about it I know he's doing anything wrong, it's just a little bit whatever I suppose anyway, decent words is one it for John Morgan New Year's Day second for Martin Little, Black Best third for Graham Clutterbuck Stitching Time was fourth for Graham Clutterbuck as well and Madame May Lynn was fifth of Padraig Hogan, and they were the only five that finished.